and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 9th of September 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Go Markets here. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. And of course, overnight, US markets finished higher after a choppy session. Despite weakness in big tech, we saw Microsoft, Apple, and Google all underperform. And Jerome Powell reiterating an aggressive inflation stance. Of course, the passing of Queen Elizabeth II created a market wobble for some time after it was announced. More on the passing of a great monarch and exceptional human being. The US futures are trading mildly positive in Asian trading and Asian indices are following cautiously that positive US lead the ASX up around a quarter of a percent. European equity futures are pointing to a neutral open. The US dollar index pulled back from 20 year highs slightly lower again in Asia for the second day running and gold is trading in a $25 range above 1700 support. Oil paused at January lows and recovered a little bit of the losses it's had over the last few days and copper popped and is now challenging 360 resistance. The VIX dropped below the 25 level a couple of days ago and has managed to retain that slight downwards trajectory over the last couple of days. Bitcoin is holding due support at 18700 and on the data front, Chinese CPI is out and is lower than expected. Later on, with some UK inflation news and Canadian jobs in an otherwise quiet day. Just a look at a couple of charts catching our eyes this morning. Uh, we're going to start with a copper chart. Obviously, this is the CFD futures contract and you can see there we've had a very nice reversal on this, a technical double bottom formation between this 340 and 350 level. That pop through yesterday and now move up to 360. We're trading towards the highs of the session in Asia and look as though if we break through this level, 370 could be on the cards. That may prove to be a greater resistance than perhaps these other levels that we have marked on the chart. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, but there is a 10 cent potential gain in that, which some may perceive as an opportunity. PRN were a chart of the day last week for us that we posted. Uh, and you can see this continues to move significantly higher in trading today. We've now got a gain of around about 13% during the course of this week. And look as though we could be up to test this $1 key level. If we look on the weekly chart, that looks important going forward. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.